Hi, this is Delta Delta 4 Whiskey Hotel and I'd like to tell you today about the menu system of my software-defined radio, the Teensy SDR with a Quadratua sampling detector, also called Taylor detector and the Teensy 3.1 microcontroller. The original design is by Rich Heslip and uh, it has been... I've added some more options in this radio and would like to present you the menu system. We're now in the tune mode so you can use the encoder to tune your radio as usual. This is the bandwidth adjust mode and you can use the encoder to adjust your bandwidth. We have now a very wide bandwidth. You can see you can hear that from the treble uh, that is expanding and you can also adjust the bandwidth so it's getting very narrow. This is the recording mode I showed you in one of my last videos where you can record the audio produced by the radio onto an SD card. This is the constant, the calibration constant for the SI5351, the local oscillator and this is um, the IQ amplitude so you can adjust the amplitude um, of the I and the Q signal that enters the Teensy um, in software so a value of 1000 means that uh, I and Q have exactly the same altitude and you can adjust that uh, for your purpose and for best suppression of the mirror frequency and also the phase if this value is zero you have a uh, totally um, equal phase in the I and the Q system and a c signal line and if you tune that to 40 then you have more of you mix a little bit of the Q signal into the I signal and if you go to negative values you mix a little bit of the I uh, signal in the uh, the Q signal in the I signal. You can also save your settings onto the EEPROM. The TNZ has EEPROM and you, can, you save all your modes in the different bands and all these I and Q settings and all other settings onto the EEPROM. And you can also load your settings from the EEPROM. You can set the time. I use the real-time clock that is uh, in the TNZ. You can set the date also. Um, and you also have a factor for calibrating the frequency as well as you have a constant. And you can also set the FFT window, so this uses the Henning window, which is a very nice window for the spectrum display. And you can also set the low pass filter for the spectrum display, and I would like to show you this. If you set it to very low values, as you can see here, um, then the display, the spectrum display doesn't change very much in time so it needs a long time before new values are being displayed so this is for me a little bit slow and if you move this to values up to 100 it's getting very nervous and it reacts very very fast to changing so this is a bit, little bit too nervous for me I prefer settings around 40 or 50 so this uh, adequately represents changes in the uh, amplitudes of the different frequencies. So this is the first menu button. We also have a second menu button. We have this snap mode which I already showed you uh, in one of the last videos. So if you tune this it looks for the carrier and automatically tunes to this carrier by a three-point quadratic interpolation. And this works quite nicely and quite accurately for most of the situations. The next thing is the radio frequency, the RF gain. In fact, this is not uh, RF gain, but this is uh, the gain that is being used uh, when the IQ signals enter the Teensy. So you can use that, and this shifts up. This shifts up the uh, signal, and you can also. Uh, use this to enhance the bass response and you can this use this to enhance the treble response and you can also look at your supply voltage which is 11.48 volts at the moment so I think I have to charge my accumulator 
uh, in a little while. So thank you very much. This is Delta Delta for Whiskey Hotel.